We live in a time where we are being bombarded with so much information um, in an unprecedented way um, compared to all of history. Um, as a result, we would like to rely on our instincts. Our instincts are famously bad. Uh, and um, I know that we like to believe that our instincts are reliable and we can always kind of depend on them, but unfortunately, um, they tend to be um, upon very close examination or during uh, very thorough experiments to be not very reliable. Um, and so having a good toolkit to challenge what might seem to be obvious or what might seem to be true or what you instinctually think is true is going to be helpful because you might be surprised that what you think is true more often than not isn't. And Matt's new book aims to do just that, help people determine what in fact is true. Once, um, hopefully, I've helped with that, uh, we can uh, use that to uh, examine our lives in a way to see whether or not the types of care we give and the types of care we receive, the love that we perceive, um, is authentic or not. He uses stories from Greek mythology to help people connect. Uh, Medusa is a very well-known uh, and appreciated icon of what's considered the devouring mother archetype from Jungian psychology. And so I use her as kind of the flagship uh, subject of the topic. And uh, I think the devouring mother archetype is a really good way of examining love and care uh, because it has everything to do with whether or not we are getting the care we need or we're giving the care others need. I'm very willing to be honest about uh, my own shortcomings uh, of the past and I use them as kind of a springboard to introduce people to the subject knowing that I'm making myself vulnerable so that maybe it would be easier for them to make themselves vulnerable with other people. I do it in a way that hopefully will have them find the answer for themselves. Um, it's, a, it's a book that I guess you could call a self-help book, although I probably create more doubt in people's minds than actually give answers. Um, and I find that there's not a lot of that around anymore. A lot of people look for answers and they want them and I know so badly we want to have them realized for us uh, by other people, but I don't think that's a reliable way to find meaning and I don't think it's a reliable way to find happiness. Um, and so I just give people the guidebook on how to find it for themselves. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.